situation, but if you got niggas with you and they supposed to three different jobs, I'll take away the pain. Shit, chilling. What the hell you got shaking? Shit, chilling with my kids. For real. Yeah, yeah, what the hell you got going? Chill, I'm finna go get some vegan food. Yeah, you always on that health ass shit. <laughs> man, gotta be, man. Hey, you just slim all the way down too. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was three, three forty. I'm down to like two thirty right now. I'm finna go down. I said, little, I said, little good and goddamn, and you popping it on that fuck ass. I'm telling you, got to. Oh, cuz I'm gonna hit your line when I get off here, cause you know I gotta holler at you anyway. Yeah, you know I'm chilling. Yeah, I'm just waiting on you for real. You know what? You know you know everything, everything, cuz. Yeah, for sure. Everything, everything, for sure. Hey, keep moving while you moving. Already, little cuz. It's love. Already. I might get on the shroom this weekend, man. I don't know yet. I'm trying to decide. I might do a ritual or something. I gotta drop a tape. Oh yeah, y'all have never seen me get paid to uh, promote a coin either. Never in your life have you seen me get paid to promote a coin. I've never took money for a coin. To say nothing about no coin. I don't want to get tainted. You feel me? Uh, a coin can pay for advertisement on my Instagram or something like that, but I'm not gonna push it on nobody and tell them to go um, buy a coin unless I absolutely believe in it. But the the main thing y'all got to be prepared for is, I know everybody be talking about inflation, but it's happening like shit costing out here. Like shit costing real money out this motherfucker, man. Like you want to have your credit up and you want to have your crypto up. Shit costs money right now, man. All that, especially the younger you is, the younger you is, the quicker you need to get on shit because. Like I said, you don't want to be goddamn missing out on shit that you look up, you feel me? And, and you know, wasted that time. So if you got now 18, 19, 20, you need to get on your shit right now. Just because you young, that ain't no excuse to be a broke ass nigga, you feel me? Like, niggas be trying to use that shit, talking about I'm, I'm young and shit like that. Nah, you got the knowledge now to goddamn to make yourself into something. That, just because I'm 21, that ain't no excuse. Like, it's all kind of information going on online for you to get some money. Don't nobody want to hear that shit. You a grown ass man, especially if you got kids. If you got kids, you a grown ass man. Now. Like, I don't want to hear that kids having kids shit. You grown as fuck. What the Bible say? The Bible say you grown at 14. You feel me? So, don't nobody want to hear them excuses, man. Got now, you got to muscle up. You feel me? You know, goddamn, you could run your credit score up, and you could goddamn get you some crypto and flip that shit. I mean, it's fourteen y'all out here, goddamn, making NFTs right now and becoming millionaires, and then niggas out here complaining, talking about they ain't got the opportunity, nigga. You got a phone, you got an iPhone, or you got a Samsung Galaxy, and you got the internet. Don't nobody want to hear that shit. Nobody wants to hear complaining no more. It's really, it's no excuses. It's 2021. Ain't no excuses in 2021. That's why I don't got sympathy for niggas, because there's no excuses. It's 13 y'all out here making NFTs. A nigga, I don't got no sympathy in my heart right now. It's information online. If you, if you decide to follow a celebrity and be broke and crash out, that's on you. You feel me? They getting rich while you getting poor. That's really what's going on. Really what's going on is a lot of the, the people who niggas follow, getting richer and richer as the people who follow them get broker and broker with the blockchain and, and shit like that see i'm the first artist who fans actually making money and they listen to me but with most artists they're getting broker as they fans listen to them you get what i'm saying because they distract they all from making some real money you just the shit you got down sinking in your head is just making you broke but with me the shit that you sinking in is making you richer it's like you got a, a stock, you got stock inside of my career. That's what blockchain technology gonna do for moving forward with artists. You gonna have stock in the artist's career. So the more you listen, you make a percentage of the stream as you listen to an artist. I ain't gonna lie, like we we in new times, man. That broke, that broke mentality shit. That's just over with, dog. It's still gonna go on for the niggas who not in my my atmosphere. 
that shit's still gonna be going on, but like all y'all in my atmosphere, times is changing, man. People waking up. You know what I'm saying? The other folks, they gonna be stuck in the matrix. That's what they stuck in. It's just like the movie The Matrix. They're gonna have that shit on, they ain't gonna know what's going on. They're gonna be, you know what? Like I told y'all, eight percent of the population makes over hundred K. 100k seem like it ain't that much money because of social media but only eight percent of the u.s population makes over 100k i was in on uh, the dominican republic nigga half them black folks over there was working in the backwoods factory it ain't no telling what they got paid they probably got paid three dollars an hour oh El, is it el salvador one of these countries where they giving out actually infinity scholarships them folks making 30 cents an hour Feel me? You gotta be prepared for this shit, man. Shit ugly right now, man. That's why I said I be showing y'all the way, man. I show y'all the way to make some money, man. Y'all nigga, it's on you to listen. You got now run your credit score up. Get your credit score up, and then you could take the money that you ran from your credit score up, and you can start your business. Now you got investment funds. People are always crying about they ain't got no investment fund. I show you where to get some investment funds. Damn, 30 cent, 80 cent per hour. Yeah, that's your crazy. It's 30 cent, not even 80 cents an hour. It's 30 cent. That's why I say I don't take excuses from niggas who come around me. It's no excuses, man. I show, I, all I do is talk this shit every time. So if you weak, you really can't come around me. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't want to hear that shit. Drop album at the NFT. I'm gonna drop an NFT album. I dropped my NFT too. A lot of y'all probably missed it. Somebody bought 80 copies of one of my NFTs. Somebody bought 17. Um, I put out a few unique ones inside of the pile. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I'm the only artist who fans actually can make money off off of me. Most most artists, y'all make them riches. Y'all get broken. And they sit there and tell y'all how broke y'all is. The irony of that. That's why my fan base is kind of like a niche fan base. Like, I got like a lot of millionaires as fans, multi millionaires as fans. You know what I'm saying? My NFT is sold out currently at the moment, it's sold out. But I'm dropping a Christmas NFT. I'm putting I'm putting it together right now. I'm gonna drop a Christmas NFT. I and y'all never see me charged for none of my financial advice, even though it's not financial advice. But y'all never see me charged for none of my shit. Um y'all never see me charged for my financial advice. And even though I should be charged, it, let's be clear. I'm doing society a favor right now doing my community a favor right now so i'm doing my charity i put my good karma in you know what i'm saying but i'm a pisces so you know pisces we got good hearts we can turn evil sometimes but we got good hearts for the most part so i should be charging niggas but i'm not gonna do it you know what i'm saying check who Straight up free game. But that's just what I do, man. I lead the people, man. I'm a, um my um numerology numbers are eight. Eights is leaders by nature. So I'ma lead y'all to some goddamn financial freedom. Yo, how can I get on live with you what you want to get on here and talk about most of most, everybody who i got on here um who went on live with me is found me so but if you got some interesting to talk about like you got some gem picks on crypto or some type of money shit, then i'm all here Fred bang what's popping i'm gonna check it i got you as soon as i get off But um, hopefully y'all was on my live two weeks ago when I was in Costa Rica, the DR. 
I put y'all on Sand. I put y'all on Gala. I put y'all on um, Avalanche. I ain't going to count. Look, I ain't even trying to toot my own horn. Every coin I said on that live that I had, that bitch is in the green and it's all the way up. Shit is up 300% this month. You know what that means? That means if you put in a thousand, you would have had 4,000 right now. You put in 4,000, you would have had 12 right now. If you put in 12, you would have had 36 or 48 right now. Man, shit's crazy right now. Shit getting real parabolic right now, man. Y'all got to get on y'all shit, man. You got to get on your shit, man. We going into a new year, man. Y'all got to be on y'all shit, man. This shit not even funny right now. We going into a whole new year, and we going into a whole new time frame. You know, shit is shifting. Like, we was in the age of Pisces. That was mysticism. People getting over on you. Religion controlling you. Now we in the age of Aquarius. It's technology. It's still an age of mysticism and a sense because of the metaverse, things of that nature. But we going into a whole new time in our life, man. And it's changing right in front of us. If you peep, it's changing right in front of us. Um... So social media can, can have you distracted to a certain point. Like, I, I indulge in my bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got my vices on social media and shit like that. But if you don't pay attention, you won't see the shift of wealth that's going on right now. And it's a it's a shift. It's a shift. The old money going to the new money. It's new, it's new billionaires. You know, the old, the old, um, can y'all hear me? Say yes or no if y'all can hear me right now. Cause I just hooked up to my uh, my truck. Y'all can hear me? Somebody say yes. Somebody say no. Real quick, somebody tell me. Can y'all hear me? Yes, no. I don't know if y'all can hear me. All right, so cool. So the old the old money was like unhealthy ass, fat ass billionaires who made money from oil and shit like that. Now it's tech people who are vegan. You get what I'm saying? Who eat healthier, cleaner energy, cleaner money, more efficient money. That's what crypto is. Crypto is more efficient money. Like I send niggas money. I send somebody 20 grand on crypto. It's right there in his wallet as opposed to an ACH transaction or, or a bank wire. You know what I'm saying? This shit like giving cash out. So you got to pay attention to the transfer of money. People just don't. Look, look at Adidas. Adidas just did a deal with Sam. Is it Sam who they did a deal with? To, to get in the metaverse. You got to look where the money going. Crypto.com just bought the Staples Center. You follow the money. If you're not following the money, see, you following celebrities and you're not following the money. That's your problem. You following celebrities and you're not following the money. Always follow the money. You catch my drift. That's why I say my... My page not for everybody. It's only for the for the kings. I'm what you call a king maker. I make kings. You know what I'm saying? I make intellects and I make kings. I don't make sheep. The telegram link, I'm gonna post the telegram link in my bio for like ten minutes. So y'all, once you start following the money, you'll start seeing where the money going, and then you'll start increasing your money. Um, so when you see that Adidas is partnering with Sand, what you do is you put your money in Sand, cause it's going. All right, so by the rumor, sell the news, and then you hear people talk about Sand. You hear people talking about Ultra. You hear people talking about UFO. I talked about UFO. UFO been going parabolic too. D race going parabolic. Um, everything I named been going parabolic. I don't, I, and I don't name nothing. I don't just come on here and talk. I actually study what's going on. I make sure it's legit. Then I tell y'all so y'all won't lose y'all money. I'm, I'm not into losing my money. And never put in when it's going too high. You know what I'm saying? If the shit going too high, don't put no money in. Wait till it's going to, wait till it's going to the perfect, to the perfect, um, wait till it's in the red. But some of this shit, I ain't gonna lie, it's going too parabolic. It ain't gonna go in the red. So you might as well take a risk. It's not financial advice, but you might as well take a risk and throw something in. But invest at your own risk, because any nigga who got out there, he gonna come straight at me because he lost some money. It's not happening. I'm telling you right now. Naming coins on here. Listen, I'm not vouching for none of these niggas who naming their favorite coin on here. 
because a lot of people talk without doing proper research. Let's just be clear. Litecoin, I ain't had Litecoin in two, three years. Litecoin might do a little something though, but I ain't, you never heard me really vouch for Litecoin, even though Litecoin might do a little something just to keep it a thousand. But Litecoin is like, Litecoin always, you know what, Litecoin always around just to keep it a thousand. Like, it's just always around, but that ain't, it's other kids. I ain't gonna cap. If you go on Coinbase or you go on Coin Market Cap, you see what's going on. Like this shit going crazy right now. You got insight on XRP. I'm not worried about XRP. XRP is in a lawsuit. I'm not saying XRP ain't gonna be shit, but they're in a the lawsuit and this shit going crazy, making 300 percent gains in one month. So XRP is really at the bottom of my list until they get out of their lawsuit. I don't know why people keep putting it in my chat. Like. We know XRP is here. We know about sheep, but we know about those. They top their top twenty coins. I'm in the lower market gems. Like I'm in the more riskier coins that I can make more money on. XRP gonna win that loss. I don't. I ain't gonna count. I don't care. Mana made me. 100% in the last three days. So why do I care about XRP coming out of their lawsuit? I could have put a 10 in the mana and made 100% today or yesterday or the day before. Why do I care about mana winning their lawsuit next year? I mean, XRP, why do I care about XRP winning their lawsuit next year? I don't care. It's, it's the least of my concern. You might not see tomorrow, my boy. You feel me? Like, I fuck with crypto because it's parabolic. You know what I'm saying? That shit can shoot up any day. I'm not trying to play the super long run. Bitcoin for the long run. I got money in Bitcoin for the long run. But that's what I meant. I meant XRP uh, in the lawsuit. So I don't want to, I don't feel like waiting around for them to get, get through with a lawsuit when it's other shit making money. XRP, yes, that's a good coin. But they're in the lawsuit right now. Put a little something in there and call it a day. Like, what, what are we talking about it for? It's like Cardano. Cardano ain't really moved like that. It moved earlier this year, but it ain't moving. What are we talking about here? It's not moving. It's it's altcoin season, and it's not moving. I don't want to hear about it. Not that I'm dogging. People coins out, you know, believe in what you believe in. Like, I believe in what I believe in. If you decide to follow what I got going on, you know, we, it is what it is. Yeah, I, I'm going to take a risk. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I ain't got nothing to lose. You hear me? What, what do you got to lose? If you want to be average your whole life, you're cool. But if you want to try and run it up, you know what to do. You know how this shit goes. 